Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your desktop look really cool. And it's going to look something like this. Uh, personally, I think that looks freaking awesome. And I really want to share with you guys on how to do this. So, the very first step we're going to do is you're going to go download RainMeter. And this is RainMeter, uh, RainMeter.net. And you're going to go to where it says Final Release. And you're going to click Download. Don't download the beta version because like I say in all my other videos uh, you never know what kind of bugs they have and it just might crash on you because it's it's meant for testing so just click download uh, 3.2.1 final release and after you install rain meter uh, you're gonna get this little uh, icon right here on your desktop and you might have a, a theme pop-up just right click that and exit exit and uh, you should be good to go since you already have the program on your computer uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go back to the uh, the website in my description of this video and you're gonna see uh, the link click the link and on the right side you'll see something that says download so go ahead and click that if you guys end up getting like an advertisement um, or anything like that asking you for a survey just exit the exit the survey uh, go ahead and click save file so when the file is downloaded uh, you're gonna see the icon is this little raindrop and that means it opens with rain meter uh, rain meter skin dot rms that's what it stands for so you can right click if, if you don't see the raindrop just right click and click open with and rain meter skin installer you could go ahead and double click that and this will come up now uh, it says skins layoffs make sure those are clicked I'm personally not gonna click MSI afterburner because I don't really need that program what that does is it lets you see the the graphic cards performance if you're a gamer and you understand how to overclock and do all that cool stuff uh, you can go ahead and do it but this is the program that uh, that is um, that that's trying to install which you can maximize voltage and all that uh, I would just be very careful with this program I if you do not know about computers I do not recommend installing it uh, if you do then go ahead and but I, I just personally don't want it so I'm not installing it so I'm gonna click install and now when you go to your desktop you're gonna see the skin come up right here and right here there's a little welcome button uh, just continue click your resolution that you're using I'm using 1080 so I'm gonna click that click continue I want the green theme uh, if you click dark orange you see the little uh, two fill-ins turn orange I like the green so I'm gonna keep the green um, yeah the green definitely and just click continue here you can configure the clock you can do 24 hour or 12 hour uh, I like 12 hour so I'm going to stick with that you can customize the task bar um, so just click continue and just exit to wisp so now you're going to have the wisp uh, the wisp uh, theme here and you can see on the right the bottom right again you can click exit you can edit the skins uh, you can right also right click on the skins and go to edit skin and you can change different variables in the skin if you want to uh, right click and open up the rain meter program you just right click and click the first one oh, I'm sorry that's not how you do it you right click and manage skin and right here you can unload stuff you can reload stuff uh, you can make it draggable click through keep on screen snap to edges means it, if you move it near the edge it'll stick to the edge okay so now for the background uh, go to your documents go to computer uh, documents and go to rain meter and go to skins and then go to wisp and go to sweet add-ons and right here you're gonna see the different themes uh, as you can see right here uh, red orange um, blue um, I'm gonna stick with green 
it doesn't really label green as green it just labels as the main color so do that right click and set as desktop background so now you can see that uh, it's keeping track of of how much uh, megabytes you're using RAM uh, CPU how, how the degrees in Celsius how much space you have how much space your external has uh, your email uh, that's got to be configured and that's got to be configured as well um, but uh, all the recycling bin as well so that's really cool um, the, it, it tells you the and just by clicking it you could just uh, delete these but it tells you the megabytes in the recycling bin so I went ahead and deleted it and now you can see it's empty uh, personally I think this theme looks amazing it looks awesome uh, I love it and again if you want to switch the colors you can you guys know how to documents skins uh, sweet add-ons and just pick a different theme and if you guys want to if you guys want to get back to your original desktop you can just right click and click exit on rain meter and you can see uh, all the cool little widgets went away and this is the background remember so that's why this is here so if you want to change this you go ahead and just change your background uh, to reactivate rain meter just go ahead and click rain meter and your theme is right there but again you can right click click manage see the different uh, see the your different themes mine came with I think Illustro as a theme I'm not sure if they have added more themes but these are themes I've installed in the past you guys can check out my other videos and tutorials uh, and to see how these other themes look personally my favorite is Iron Man and I, I gotta say this theme looks pretty cool too it just looks pleasant and looks very nice so thank you guys please like subscribe and comment peace out uh, one last thing actually please give uh, all credit goes to Fizzin, so please give him a comment if you have an account on DeviantArt saying thank you, uh, because this is his work and uh, we just want to be appreciative uh, to his work. Thank you guys. Peace.